In this video, I'll tell you about the latest scare Sami gave us recently when he started doing this. We rushed him to the emergency vet on a Sunday, only to find out it was reverse sneezing. Keep watching to see what happened, how it turned out, and to find out more about reverse sneezing in dogs. Also, in the other half of this video, I'm sharing with you the many reactions we got from the other Westie owners in our community on Instagram. They're talking about their own experiences with reverse sneezing and how they handled it. Before we get into this video, give this a thumbs up if you find it useful and subscribe to our channel Westy Vibes if you haven't already so you don't miss our next videos. Earlier this year, we spent a few months in Greece working remote and living on our sailing boat with our Westy dog Sami. We never had any health issues with him during our stay, we didn't even have a vet there, until this happened. We're just coming from the vet right now because we had a scare today with Sami. So here's what happened. Um, about two hours ago, I was, uh, we were in the marina and I was in the bathroom washing my hair uh, when Bobby called me and said that Sami's were making these weird noises through his nose, uh, like he can't breathe or something. So I, I rushed to the boat and Sami was making these noises like he was not coughing but I didn't know uh, how to describe it honestly it just felt like he's having trouble breathing like he got something stuck up his nose so we kind of panicked honestly because it, it was also a very hot day and it was hot inside the boat as well and we don't have air conditioning so we thought that maybe maybe it can be a sign of heat stroke or something like that we just didn't know what to think so we started looking for a vet and it's a sunday afternoon so that was tricky but we managed to find a non-stop uh, vet hospital in athens and we looked on the map and we saw that it was like 45 minutes away we had a, a rented car and we just took Sami and jumped in the car and rushed to the vet and we called on the way and they said that there's no need for an appointment and they're open for emergencies on the ride over there Sami kept doing that noise but he was stopping every now and then so it was on and off and he didn't seem like he was in any kind of pain but we just didn't know we didn't know what what was happening When we got to the vet, um, we they took us in right away, and you know the vet asked me about Sami's history, and I had all his documents with me. She asked if he's on any kind of medication. I told her about Sami's allergies and anything else that I thought might be relevant, but mainly, you know, he's a healthy young dog. So she looked at him and she said that that's reverse sneezing. Uh, which we knew about, but we didn't know uh, what the symptoms were. So we didn't know exactly what it sounded like. Um, and Sami never did this before. So, uh, so yeah, it was reverse sneezing. And she said that it can be for any number of reasons. It can just, it can be that he inhaled something on his walk, or you know that it's possible that he has something stuck up his nose and she went to check for all that she also did an x-ray just to see in case there's anything in his lungs that he inhaled and it all came clear everything was fine and you know 
nothing nothing to worry about she looked up his nose and she said that there's no sign of any foreign object stuck in there and basically she just said that reverse sneezing is something common and it happens to a lot of dogs and it just goes away on its own in a day or two so there was nothing we can do she just said leave the dog as he is uh, monitor him and it's normal if he keeps doing that for another day or two as long as he doesn't do it constantly and as long as he doesn't cough or something something else so she said to call her if there's any other symptoms and as we left the vet we took Sami for a walk and he just at some point he just stopped doing the reverse sneezing it went it went away on its own and as you can see he's now Absolutely fine. Hey. So it was a scare, it was a little stressful um, because, you know, I kept thinking of what if he inhaled um, one of those foxtail seeds, uh, which is something that I discovered recently and that. I know now that they're very dangerous and I made a video about that. You can watch it, I'll put the link here. Um, so I thought that maybe it was something like that, which, you know, in extreme cases can be life-threatening. So I'm glad that we took Sami to the vet and, and that we know that there's nothing wrong. All the, the tests that she did came perfect. She said that clinically he's in a perfect shape and and that this is normal, so we learned something today. <laughs> yeah, so that was our day today. Uh, thankfully, Sami is fine, so everything is good. And now we are on our way back to the boat and we're gonna just continue our Sunday. <laughs> Later that day, I shared our story on Sami's Instagram. If you're not already following us on Instagram, this is your reminder. Check out our page, we are Westy Vibes and we post daily stories of Sami's life, like this one right here. After posting this, I got so many replies from other Westie owners who went through the exact same thing, so I thought I'd share some of these messages with you now. Just like me, most people had no idea about this, and when it happened, they got scared, just like I did. Some thought their dog was choking or having a seizure, which I completely understand. Of course, panicking is not gonna do any good, but still. It's hard to watch your dog struggle. The good news is apparently reverse sneezing is completely normal and there's nothing to worry about. Aime says, my dog is also a Westie and it happens every three to four months. Sounds scary, but harmless. Yanis says, we have a Westie and this has happened to her too. Apparently it's really common in terriers. Why dogs do this? Hard to say. Holly says, my Westie gets it all the time, usually because he's fond of sticking his head in bushes. Some say that it can happen when dogs get overly excited. Others say that it happens after intense sniffing and digging sessions. Another reason could be things that they are allergic to, like pollen. 
Sweet Mochi the Yorkie says, I was exactly like you, but they told me it's kennel cough. So that's actually why it's always good to check with your vet because sometimes this could be a sign of a flu. Sami also had the flu sometime last year and he had to take treatment to get better. Heather says our Westie has been doing it since he was one. It appears to be triggered by a lot of excitement and it sounds like he's having an asthma attack. It lasts from 15 seconds to 1 minute, we apply pressure under the throat and this helps stop it. We used to get very worried but now we understand it's fine when it happens and we just comfort him until it's over. I totally understand the vet trip, it's scary to witness. Is there any way to stop reverse sneezing? Some people say that rubbing your dog's chest or massaging their throat seems to help. Klaso says, my Westie does this very often, no need to panic. Try to hold his nose closed and tilt his head back, hold it for a while and then release it, this often helps. The mouth must also be closed. Ace says, apparently to calm it down you must block the nostrils while massaging the dog's throat. Actually, this seems to be the solution that most people mention when dealing with reverse sneezing. Apparently, covering one or both nostrils can stop the sneezing. Since Sami never did this again, I haven't had the chance to try this and see if it works. But if you went through this with your dog, let me know in comments what did you do to calm them down. And if you tried doing the nostril thing, let me know, did it work? Wallace Hammerpaw says, Thank you for showing us Westie owners what it looks like. Well, thank you for watching and I hope that by sharing our experience, more people will know about reverse sneezing and will know not to enter in full panic mode like we did. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up, make sure you share it with other dog parents who might find it useful and if you're not subscribed to our channel yet, you can do that now by clicking on the subscribe button. We are also on Patreon, so if you want to support our weekly videos, go to patreon.com slash westyvibes and join our Westie community. Thanks for watching and as usual, we'll see you in the next video.